Welcome to Big Hue Art. Today we're going to do a lesson on atmospheric, also known as aerial perspective. I want you to take a second to look at the link below. There's a rubric, coloring pages, and a mini lesson for all those teachers out there. When creating art, the illusion of atmospheric perspective is pretty simple. Everything up close has detail and vibrant color. Everything far away kind of blends together. That is atmospheric perspective in a nutshell. Before we get creative, I think it's really important to take a second and cover foreground, middle ground, and background. Remember, foreground is that space closest to the viewer at the bottom of the artwork. The middle ground is the space between the background and the foreground. And finally getting into that background, the background is the, the furthest from the viewer in the picture that we are creating today. Atmospheric perspective when we talk about art is pretty simple. The objects that are further away are going to look more pale and light. So when we are doing atmospheric perspective, it's really important to focus on the fact that the colors are going to fade lighter the further away from the viewer. The size of the objects will always be smaller the further away from the viewer. And the details are obviously going to be less visible in the links below, there are four drawings for you to choose from. There's three Harry Potter drawings because there are some Harry Potter fanatics in my household. And there is also a Avengers drawing that you can choose to try your hand at atmospheric perspective. So make sure you go and take a look at those drawings and choose the one that best suits you. Please also know you do not have to use these drawings when you're creating your atmospheric perspective. They're completely optional. Again, all these pages below are optional, but if you do want to choose one, we have Thor and Hulk, my favorite Avengers. We have Harry Potter and Dobie in the mystical forest. We have the Whomping Willow with the castle of Hogwarts in the background. And just Hogwarts itself. Now I realize that a lot of us might not have all the same mediums for the art, but I want you to choose or use what you have. You can use a pencil, markers, pencil crayon, crayons, whatever you feel comfortable creating with. I just want to provide you with some examples of the different mediums completed by my kiddo and niece. We have the pencil, my favorite, the marker, And finally, the colored pencil.
Thanks for checking out this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Just a reminder that in the link below, there is a rubric, coloring pages, and a mini lesson. Thanks for taking the time to check this out. Happy creating.